私を強くするハロー、エブリワン、Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jace, glad to see you here. Meet the star today, Vivising K3, the best budget NATP LCD projector from AliExpress that I have tested so far. It is very similar to Lenovo L5, same OEM factory, I believe. Alright, let's have a closer look at it. Build quality is excellent with sturdy ABX plastic housing. Simple white outlook with a black round disc design on the top. Tall and medium in size. In the front, there is a multi layer coated glass lens, large fan, and hissing inside. Power switch, AC input, and manual focus judgment ring can be found on the right. No Huawei vertical keystone. At the back, there are two 3 watt speakers for stereo sound. Followed by IR receiver, HDMI port, AV input, AUX output, and two USB ports at the left. Power button and a nice black disc are located on the top. Four anti skip pads and four ceiling mount hole can be found at the bottom. This is the mini stand, ceiling mount hole, and air inlet with blower fan inside. Lastly, adjust the viewing height that you prefer. Alright, here are the included accessories. A handy infrared remote control for navigation. For video connection, there is the usual HDMI cable, followed by AV cable for older devices. Power call with the correct plug for your country. UK plug for me. A lens cloth to clean the lens. Two plastic red blue glasses for 3D movie. That's all. K3 supports screen sizes from 35 inch to 120 inch. Suitable for both day and night with 600 NC lumens. As usual, the smaller the screen, the brighter you will get. 60 inch is the best during the day. You can go up to 120 inch in a totally dark room. Every day is movie night then. Yes, you can get this kind of experience with the smaller TV. just like other budget projectors. You need to calibrate K3 in order to get the best result. No worries. It's very simple. The default contrast value is way over. Do reduce it. FYI, K3 is using 72% anti-SC LCD panel with 5000 to 1 contrast ratio. It has excellent image quality and contrast for the price. Nice colors out of the box. That's great. Text performance is excellent. You can use it to surf the internet or present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Texts are clear as you can see. Good for daylight usage as long as below 60 inch screen size. For extreme tests, K3 is performing very well. Corners are sharp and in focus. One of the best budget projectors for sure. By the way, it has two display modes on HDMI, PC and video. PC mode has anti-aliasing filter for smoother text. Video mode is brighter and sharper without AA. FYI, this review was captured on PC mode. 
You can play videos directly with the built-in media player. Just plug in USB hard drive will do. Subtitle is supported, but AC3 audio is not. Photo viewing is as simple as ABC, working smoothly. The built-in speakers are great, loud and clear, decent bass too. Lastly, the fan noise level is great. You won't hear fan noise at all during music or movie playback. All three main refresh rates are supported. 24Hz and 50Hz are great and smooth. 60Hz has perfectly smooth playback, suitable for gaming too. This 24p video is being played back through HDMI with external player. K3 is performing very well on both highlights and shadows. Nice colors too. And it is suitable for movie no doubt. Again, a nice budget home cinema. Outstanding performance in this 4K 60p video. Perfectly smooth video playback is what you get. Fifty hertz is performing very well too. Great for pal reasons contains for sure. All right, this is the main interface. Mine is sync screen model. It is loaded with wireless mirroring function for both iOS and Android devices. AirPlay and Miracast are supported. Yep, you can turn K3 into a Bluetooth speaker too. Connection is fast and stable. Let's have a look at the settings. Everything is pretty much straightforward. Digital zoom function with 50 to 100% adjustment. Four-way keystone adjustment is there for you too. As always, direct projection without any adjustment gives the best image quality. followed by the usual projection mode for different types of mounting. Multiple languages are supported, English for me as usual. Select boot source that you want, HDMI for me. Surprise! It is running Android OS. Cool, right? Advanced display and audio setting can be found in HDMI mode. For picture mode, 
There are standard, vivid, soft, and user. As usual, these are my values in this review. Color temperature can be set to standard, warm, and cool. Followed by a lot more settings that I also don't know without proper user guide. So try them yourself. As for sound, several selections are there for you and me. You can adjust each EQ values in user mode. As usual, take your time to play around with these settings to find out the best one for you. Wireless mirroring is working smoothly. Available on both Android and iOS devices. Yes, you can share photos and watch video on K3 easily. VVC in K3 passed the input lag test with this. 55 millisecond response time is what you get. Not the faster out there, but you will notice it on casual games. As usual, Pinball is used to test projector gaming ability. Perfectly smooth on the Nintendo Switch game console. <laughs> Yeah. Are you, uh, are you coming on that novel you're working on? Huh? Gather around, everybody. Ten bucks to go with me. Step right up and bite my wife. Peter, are you crazy? Now, you wanna dance?
That's all for VVSync K3 review. An excellent 1080p projector for the price. It has outstanding image quality and great colors. Loud and clear speakers. Perfect for video and great for games. The best budget LCD projector from AliExpress yet. By the way, do check out my top projector chart too. And please use my referral link to shop. It will help me a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and thumb up. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.